the FDA continuously monitors the amount of radioactivity that's in American seafood, both for sale internally and, and exports coming into the country. And they have found no increase above background levels in the amount of radioactivity. So it really isn't a public health concern. So these levels are extremely low, and the FDA has not found any fish from the Pacific that exceeds these action levels. Yeah, it, it, it is safe. The, the levels that we're talking about are trivial levels. What people don't really understand is that um, all food has radioactivity in it. There is natural radioactivity everywhere. Even the reports of, um, of cesium from, f from fish uh, that came from Fukushima these levels are thousands of times lower than the natural background. And as they move out of the area, the radioactivity levels drop very quickly. Um, they lose uh, one or two percent of the radioactivity they've taken in per day. And so after a period of weeks, the levels of radioactivity that you find are minuscule. By the time a, a tuna, for example, would have migrated from Japan all the way to the United States, which would have taken many months, the levels of radioactivity from Fukushima in their, in their flesh would, 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 would be uh, traced quantities. And that's what's been found, trace quantities. With time, it, it, the, the dilution becomes astronomical. So for example, the total amount of radioactive water that was dumped into the ocean is probably, from Fukushima, was probably on the order of 5 to 20 Olympic swimming pools of water. The Pacific Ocean contains 300 trillion Olympic swimming pools of water, so the dilution factor is enormous. In light of the fact that there are measurable benefits and no measurable risks, there may actually be a health threat from avoiding seafood.